Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is the start of a brand new mail haul video. So the date is the... I was just about to check my watch. Um, what is the date? Today is the 6th of November. <laughs> I decided to go check a physical calendar because I'm filming on my phone. But anyway, so we have two packages to start us off. I'm actually filming a binder update right now. So, um, and my postie was like, yes, now is the time. To deliver um but i'm not angry about that because i think this might be sleeves that i can actually use in the video is this gonna straight up just have my address in here oh, you saw nothing john snow whoa these actually arrived to me really quickly so i used to get my sleeves from a japanese store called daiso these are to put the cards in, so they're like penny sleeves, which I find funny that they're called penny sleeves because then it's meant to be like a penny a sleeve, so it should actually be a dollar for these, but they're not a dollar. <laughs> they're like quite expensive. So I'm gonna trial these ones out. Um, I measured them, so they should be the right size. These are just ordered off of eBay. You can just search them up because um, Australia has Amazon, but it's not the same as like American Amazon. Oh, there they are. So they're just like this. They don't have the dots on them or anything. I've seen ones that have the dots. Oh, my fingernails, bad. But um, I didn't want them. So these are just soft sleeves. So if I, uh, this is the stuff I'm just about to update in the binder. Let's pick a really nice card to showcase these. Okay, so. This is just a random sleeve that I was sent because I ran out of sleeves. So this isn't actually the normal ones I use. So I use these ones. These ones are the Dizer ones. And they do have like some markings. So you can see that they're not as high quality as these ones. So, and these Dizer ones are a bit dusty. So it's good to change. I'm changing because um, Dizer doesn't stock them anymore. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, well that looks okay. I was most unsure about like how much space is down the bottom because I don't like to have space down the bottom I want them to fit really snug in the nine pocket um do I have a nine pocket spare look I'm just gonna take one from the front of my JK binder so Ooh. oh that's nice it's very snug yeah that's what I was worried about though see how it sticks out the top I want it to be like down there like how it's hitting the bottom so but that's okay I can just do that with the cards also with my cards I like push them one to one side now because I want them to all line up but they kept moving when they're in the middle <laughs> okay so well they fit that's good and they're like clear like ultra clear I made sure that they were good um I'll link I'll link them down below um I'm not sure whether you can get them if you're not in Australia but I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I might leave these in these sleeves for the update. Yeah. Okay. So that's those, and I ordered a lot. So in my spare time, I'm going to change all of the sleeves and all of the binders to these. And then I just got these ones. So these I use on tour pieces taking the cutest set. I might remove these box actually. Uh, be gone. I put my tour PCs in sleeves because I did have fake cards and I wanted to differentiate between which ones were fake and which ones weren't. So these sleeves fit so well on these. It is insane. But the thing that I have to do with these is I have to cut them so when I put it in the sleeve, I then take scissors. I have really, really sharp scissors and I cut along here with the card in there. Be so careful if you ever plan to do that. I haven't cut a card yet because it actually is quite easy to do because the scissors kind of just follow the card. But yeah, so I do have to trim these sleeves off, but they fit like so well and they are so good quality it is insane. So yeah, that's, that's them. Um, I found them by just looking up the dimensions of a card and trying to fit it to a sleeve. Uh, you can do that if you can't buy these. 
So that's those ones. I'm thinking about actually not sleeving my tall PCs anymore because they don't look as great as if you would just put them in there and I probably don't need to do it. So I might not do that anymore, but I just wanted to get the sleeves just in case I ever plan to keep doing it. So, and then I have four by six sleeves. These fit your standard photos. I don't know whether or not anyone's interested in sleeves, but I'm just gonna keep talking about them. So standard photos. So you're looking at something like this. My work just called me, so sorry if like the angles changed or something. Um, but anyway, yeah, the photos fit really snug in here. So yeah, that's really nice. And this is the last one. I've never ordered these before, five by seven. Um, oh, it's split down the side. Okay, easy access. <laughs> no. So I don't know what'll fit in this. Or this. So I actually just had some really cheap sleeves just from like a $2 store on this. They're not like, um, what are they? They're not like no PVC or acid free sleeves though. So I was wanting to get something better. Does this fit in here? It does. Wow. Well done, Kate. Okay, look at that. That fits so well. I like it. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> that makes me so happy. Um, I wonder if the thing that I want to put in it actually was, I want to see if these fit in. Because I don't like just putting things in that not protected okay that doesn't fit and this is just a cheap sleeve on this again that will fit and this that looks like it'll be an exact fit so that's exciting okay so I'll put these ones back but anyway that's my sleeves that I have ordered so that's exciting <laughs> Um, which ones were, f that one's cheap, this one's cheap, yeah, okay, the items are going to be so well protected, and then this is the other thing that I got, <laughs> I had been eyeing this up on eBay for so long, and I was like, I didn't want to buy it, because, I'm only buying it for the card that comes with this. These are so cute. And I was hoping to get the card alone, but oh my gosh. How did they, oh no wait. I was like, how do they know I like JK? But you'll see why. <laughs> They're so nice, pretty. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I wanted to try and get the card alone, but people were selling the card for more than what this alone was so I was like uh, that doesn't make sense <laughs> so can anyone get well you you don't have to guess what it is you can see what it is so this is the art toy um, obviously when this released I wasn't collecting so so I will be selling this on I'm hoping that I don't love this too much oh my gosh because if I love it, I will keep it. <laughs> but I have no room for it, so. We have the instructions. Pretty sure these are the instructions for the entire set. Like this is Jimin with an umbrella, but yeah. And then this is the art toy. Ooh. <gasps> so cute. Ooh, it's heavy. He's writing on my little notebook. And this is his little stand. Can you see it? This says junk hook. Big hit. You can get him to sit on that if you don't want him on this bench. This really, really long bench. <laughs> oh, you love 
love it. It's really hard to show you it. Can you see it's like this? That's really cute. The birds really do kick off at 9.30 in the morning. But um, the reason that I got this was actually for this. So, ta-da! <laughs> Um, okay, well, next clip. I legit just finished filming like a binder update, so, and my po my postie was like, hey, okay, I gotta clear some stuff. I mean, like, I could have cleared some stuff before filming this, but. Oh, you can see the crack, I'm sorry. How do I get rid of that? How do I normally do this? What is life? Oh, baby, don't hurt me. Baby, don't hurt me no more. Okay. So, four letters. I think I know what all of them are. Cha. So, this will all be from Australian people. <laughs> hey, Australian people. I'm gonna try and slide this out. Ah. Like, I'm pretty sure in my binder update, I said that this isn't um, potentially missing. Oh, no, wait, no, I said another one was missing. Anyway. Ah, Yungi. <laughs> He's so cute. I actually did pull this in my album, but then I gifted it to my little cousin because she is a Yungi stan. And I was like, here you go. <laughs> ah, one of my favorite cards. So that is, no, that will not complete this set. I'm still missing Jimin. Jimin. Jimin's really difficult to find for that. He's just being elusive. Okay, thank you for giving it cook. <laughs> I'm reading this. I'm really bad at reading like out loud. That's why I normally don't really read things on camera. Um, because I'm really disjointed when I read. Hi Kate, thank you for giving Cook a new home. Hope he comes to you safely. Take care. Pearl. Pearl, that's such a nice name. I have a cousin named Pearl on my dad's side. She's a little baby. She's a little pearl. So I wasn't actually planning, I don't collect this type of stuff. Like I don't collect any BT21 or any of that, but like this is holographic and it's so stinking cute. And I didn't, I didn't buy the set because I just didn't. But someone put this up, well not someone, Pearl put this up. And I was like, yep, I'm gonna get it. Ah, sparkly boy. He's so pretty. Tiny Tam. But again, like, I, I don't, I'm not collecting them. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. I think this might be a gold card. So me and one of my friends were sitting on this bid post for about a week um so a girl a woman <laughs> a woman pulled three gold jk's so this is one of them look at that and people were like really really bidding against us in the end and we we're both like no we have been sitting on this for like so long and we both got them so Yay. What sucks is that I just did the binder update, so these will not be in it. Okay, Jim Horrible. This is some thick cardboard. Yay. Jim. Golden boy. If no, he's golden boy. The other golden boy. That's so nice. Is he damaged? Why you no tell me this? I don't mind damage, but just tell me, please. Because that was not in the photo that you sent me. Okay. 
So still my idea with these is to collect OT7, but um, Tay and Jimin are difficult to get. I can get Jimin's, it's just whether or not I just want to like put the money down for it. Um, Tay's is, oh, Tay's is like a lot more. So, and it's not a high priority, so I might just wait to get Tay's. But yeah, so that's the mail for today. A very shiny nail today, isn't it? Look at all their shine. They're really nice cards and Yoongi. Okay, so next clip. What is this? <gasps> Victoria? Hello, Douglas. Victoria! This says that it's come from Victoria, but I won this from the US. This was coming from the US on eBay, but it says on the envelope that it's from Victoria. I am Confucian. Whoa, this is so much bigger than I thought it was. How, why does it say it's coming from the US on eBay? And I paid in US dollars. Okay, well, I am shook. Jung shook. This is a little freebie card. JK. Dear customer, thank you for your purchase. I hope you like this product. I will introduce a lot of good products in the future. Please contact me if you have any interest in Korean products. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. P.S. If you're satisfied with the goods, please give positive feedback. Store name, Susu Market. Well, oh, there you go. You know where I got it from now. But like, I swear it was American. This is so big. What's this? Oh, creepy. Hello, JK. Spring day, JK. So this is, is this SK Telecom? Mm, yeah. <laughs> SK Telecom standing JK card. In his outfit with his flowers. And then this is the big LG thing. I thought this would be like this big. So I am shook. <laughs> That's pretty cool though. So this is the LG G7 DinQ postcard. JK. When am I not gonna do the JK in videos? <laughs> if you're wondering too why I call him JK and not Jungkook or Jungkook or Cookie or every other variation um yeah i don't know i just find it easier just to say jk <gasps> did i just cut the sleeves can you see the line that i made it's not actually like a cut though so i suppose that's positive and like mm, i suppose things take up more space down here it might be okay there's their little note this is the first time i've bought off of them so i don't know whether or not these are good <laughs> Someone told me in the video to order BCW three pockets and I'd actually done it before they told me to because <laughs> I wanted to try them out because the Ultra Pro ones that I was using, sorry about the light, wow, hello sun, it's the afternoon, oh I'm out of focus, sorry, wow, this video, um, I want to try them out because the Ultra Pro ones seem to be really like not flat on the outside bits. So these ones are definitely flatter, so I'm happy with that. And the person who came who commented on my video said that you can fit actual like photos with the sleeves in these bottom ones, whereas before I had to take the sleeves out, these don't even fit in there. Whereas before I had to take the photos out of the protective sleeves to put them in here because they wouldn't fit. But yeah, so there's them. Look at this afternoon sunlight. Isn't it pretty? They look pretty on the sleeves. Okay, well that's the mail for today. Wow. Bye. Wow. Hey, <laughs> it's been 11 days since that last clip. But today we have mail. Well done. Oh, I sliced right through that. Oh, plenty of bubble wrap. Nice. Huh? Should there be something in there? <laughs> ah. <laughs> a 
Okay, there wasn't meant to be something in there. I only bought this from her. One of the best group cards. Look at it. So cute. So Express post tape. Ooh. <gasps> tape. Ooh. Wow, that really confused me. <laughs> Ooh, yes. So I claimed these in a claim sale. And it is the two postcards for the Love Yourself in Soul film and the Burn the Stage film. Oh, they're so pretty. I like, um, I'm a big film buff. So I used to collect uh, film tickets and stuff. So these type of things... They make me like so happy. I love them. So now I'll have like the set and they're beautiful and purple. And isn't that just nice? That's just nice. I like that. I think she was or she did also have this one to claim, but I didn't didn't go for it. And then the other one would be Break the Silence. I don't know whether or not that one has one. I'm guessing it has one. I'll just have to try and find it. Oh, that one has a... Oh, no, that one's mine. I was like, oh, it has a thing. I've scanned that, though. You can't take it. Mwahaha. <laughs> that was nice and simple. Thank you, Kate. <laughs> That's me. Yes. We have... An official. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, official. We have JK's 4 out of 8 for the Love Yourself tour set piecing. Set piecing? Wow, words. Rip it. <laughs> <laughs> that was extreme. Okay. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Wow. Okay, that's some very thin cardboard on a card that I spent a lot on. Some like ramen noodle backing. Um, I don't want to like damage it. Come on! Oh no, it's stuck. Ah! Okay. <laughs> this is second master two two nine two zero, and it's unit four out of seven. The G cook unit. There we go. Isn't that cute? So cute. Yes. 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 Uh, there's another one of these in which they, uh, are they back to back? I think they're back to back and they're like leaning on each other. Um, but this is, this is this one. So, so beautiful. I am really struggling with JK's set of these though. I think I've only got one of them so far. So, uh, yeah. Story of my life. No, I'm not going to sing One Direction. No. Okay. Ta-da! <laughs> So that's the cute little bit of mail today. This mail is so slow. Oh, this one's already open. I don't really know why it's open. I think I was like going to film, but then I thought, no. <laughs> I just worked an 11 hour shift. So I am slightly dead inside, but I am working the same tomorrow, so I was like, I need to open these so I can send proofs. Jimin. Dirty. We go. Oh, he's a little bit dirty. Beautiful back. Oh, the backs are just stunning. Jimin. Love your son. Yeah. Version S answer, the red, the red version. This is actually my least favorite um, answer album in terms of pictures and the inside, but I really do like PCs. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Put him down there. Look at that. Um, let's do these next. Oh. These came surprisingly very quick. The UK seller on eBay, Andy Jack sells these sleeves and they are really good sizes but like I'm a bit annoyed that they just put them in there with nothing on them so I'm hoping that they didn't rub or anything because these are coming from the UK to Australia so they got quite a long journey but they seem to be okay um 
I got a couple of different sizes in these just to try them out because I did kind of want to make the JK binder all have the same kind of sleeve in it to make it a bit more uh, cohesive and have all the sleeves the same size this way, like sticking out of the binder. Um, so this is the nine pocket. So I just want to see how they were. So if, sorry, Jimin, I'm moving you. So if I were to put in like these, how they would fit in with the sleeves. Oh, it fits well. Oh, it fits well. Look at that. This one actually covers the entire sleeve, the penny sleeve, which uh, these ones don't. These ones are BCW and they stick out like at the top like that. But these ones cover the entire sleeve, so that's kind of cool. Um, but that does mean that the page is quite a bit bigger. Yeah, see at the top? It's quite a bit bigger and bigger that way. Wow, it is really big, but it has a lot of holes in it. So lots of um, playing around with them. So I got a couple of the nine pocket just to try them out. And then... Got more of the two pocket because the two pockets in these are really good because they are a lot wider than BCW and Ultra Pro. I've completely gone off Ultra Pro now. They're just terrible. Um, and then I got more of the four pocket because they fit a lot more stuff that way, which is good. And is that all I got? I just kind of got like random ones just to try out and eight pockets. Uh, if I were to get an eight pocket, no, let's go for a more common tour set. Oh, let's go this one. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It covers a lot. <laughs> Look at that. It covers it completely. It doesn't stick out at all. And it's got like room and it's not tight in there. That's really nice. Okay, well, I'm going to have a little bit of a play around with that. I know that you can also get some sleeves that fit this size PC, but it's more like in a nine pocket. Hello, this is Editing Kate, and I just had like a sudden thought that maybe the sleeves that I'm talking about here are the sleeves that I bought, and they are. So this is the nine pocket pages that I bought, and it fits the tall PCs. But they do stick out quite a fair amount at the top. But it looks oh, it looks pretty darn gorgeous. But um, I don't think I'll be doing this. Just because then I'll have to rearrange like my entire binder. And you have to have like one to put in the middle. Mm. It does look so good though. But anyway, um, yeah. Let's get back to this video. <laughs> I don't know where they're from though, but I quite like how it covers the entire thing and it's not tight. So, um, but maybe they are a bit too loose. I might change everything, which will be expensive and annoying, but it'll satisfy my little perfectionistic heart. Should be nice. I just wish that you could buy this kind of stuff in like off the shelf instead of waiting like three weeks for it to come in <laughs> with stupid amount of shipping okay so that's some sleeves andy jack on ebay okay so this one now oh are we gonna have a story time with this i really don't know how much i want to say about this because i don't want to be mean um I have received things off of this seller before. This packaging is not done by this seller. Actually, it's a group order manager. And um, I'll insert the clip here of what the packaging last time looked like. Keeping in mind that this is like a quite pricey DVD PCs and a couple of other pricey cards. And there was no cardboard and there was just no protection. It was put in the envelope and I didn't say anything when I unboxed it and I don't know why I didn't say anything about it when I unboxed it. I think I was too caught on the thing of this seller's, this group order manager is really nice but um, it's kind of fallen to pieces since then. 
So there are a lot of missing items that are unaccounted for. There's just, it's just so messy. I'm still waiting on my School Love Affair Special Edition. I paid for it. And then the shipping came through and the shipping is basically worth another, um, another one of the School Love Affair Special Edition, like the price of it. And then she said that it was coming by boat. It turned up three days later at a, her address in Melbourne, so it wasn't coming by boat. Ugh, I hope it wasn't coming by boat. It would have been a speedboat. But it's now with her. But then she hasn't sent it out because she has exams. Because it turns out that she is a minor. There's about like 200 of us in this group order group and we're all waiting on this stuff. Some people have been waiting five months. And then, oh wow, this is some heavy duty packaging. This is not packaging done by her. My friend went and picked up the stuff because we were so scared about the packaging that she was going to do. So she has done this so generously for me. So I don't know why my school love fair special edition is turning up. I ended up paying like basically the amount of two of them. And it just didn't make sense because she quoted a price. She said that it was 16 kilograms. It was $451 to ship it. And she charged 11 of the album buyers that amount. But I worked out that School Love Affair weighs 907 grams. 907, uh, this is math, sorry. 907 times by 11 is just under 10 kilograms of weight. So I don't know where the extra 6 kilograms is that we are paying for. And when I brought it up with her, she couldn't answer it. <laughs> so, look, I've paid for it. So... <laughs> I just, I don't understand. And it was just like really unfair pricing for other people as well who just got photo cards. Someone paid an exceptional amount of money. Like it kind of just worked out to be the normal price to pay for a photo card. I mean, like the whole point of a group order is that you get stuff kind of for cheaper because you are sharing shipping costs and everything. But it just, I don't know what's happened with it. And you were just about to see something else that has gone wrong with this group order. So... The manager sent me through an image of the items that I had claimed and I had a list of the items that I had claimed in image form as well and I sent back her the image and said no these are the items that I have claimed because she sent me through like images that was like that's not the stuff that I am expecting and then she said oh yeah that's fine that's fine I'll fix it up and then Maddie, the girl who went and picked up my stuff, sent me through images of what she had picked up. And it was just exactly the same stuff. So this I didn't claim. And like I have this like entire jungle like photo set in here that I didn't claim. And someone else has claimed and now I've got it. So I have worked out whose it is and I'm going to send it to them. It's actually um, a woman who I speak to a lot anyway so I was just like I was kind of just shook I was like I, you're so lucky that it was me who got it and not someone else who just decided to keep it because ugh, you know people would do that and I'm missing items like I'm missing a couple of unit stuff um, a couple of jungle um, tour PCs so now I've got to like readjust all of my wish lists because the seller just doesn't know where they are. I'm missing some Bang Chan out of Stray Kids. I had like three of his cards. I won't be naming her or anything. I'm not naming and shaming because she is a minor. She was good like the first couple of times. Well, I thought she was good. Apparently she wasn't because people are still waiting on things from the group orders at the beginning. So... Oh, I'm ripping so much of this tape and it's so cute. This is the Wings group photo. One of the black versions again. So I have another one of these. And this is just the other version, the other unit one. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. This is the set that I didn't claim because I have all of these already. So I'm going to send these off as soon as I can when I'm not working <laughs> uh, so I have these three which are not mine 
one, two, and four. At least they're not damaged or anything. And then this I already have because I accidentally claimed it. So this will actually be going to the UK. My friend is in lockdown over there and she's a Yoongi stand. So I'm making her up like a little package so she can enjoy this little Yoongi. So I claimed this little sticker. Boo -boo -boo. Out of, oh, I thought there was meant to be three of these. Okay, well... I'm just going to go with it. I've got two of these, so um, this is the only one that I don't have, so that's good. And then this I already have. This isn't mine. I'm going to have to work out whose it is. Because I, I don't want to keep it or trade it or anything because I didn't pay for it, so. Oh my gosh, is it real? Yeah, it's real. Okay. I was like, that's the last thing I need. We were kind of thinking that this seller was buying things, like putting up the picture and then uh, blocking out the Tay PC and then splitting the prices up so that she would get the Tay card that she wanted for free, but we can't confirm that yet. Even though we have found a couple of things that do confirm it, but let's not get into that. Let me take all of these out. Wow, these sleeves are really nice. Thank you so much. I don't think she knows that I have this channel. If she ever finds this channel, thank you, Maddie. I don't tell people that I have this channel because I think it's a bit embarrassing <laughs> um, to be sitting here and talking to a camera <laughs> and unboxing BTS stuff. <laughs> and I don't want the pressure of like people knowing that I have this. Okay, so here we go, here we go. And you. <laughs> I love this card. Thank you. <laughs> so cute. Jin. <gasps> Yoongi. Getting some hyungs. And, oh, JK. And I already have this card. <laughs> but I paid 130 Australian dollars for it. And then I got it the next day for 18 Australian dollars. So that's my life. <laughs> Look, that's so pretty. They are some really nice PCs. And then in this, uh, break the silence. I'm still waiting on all the in the soup stuff from this report Amanda as well. She didn't tell us that she didn't get it in the first drop, even though we paid for it then. For some unknown reason, she didn't get it then. So. It was only until I asked that she told me that it was coming in January. So I was like, thank you for telling me now that I have asked. Okay. <laughs> so this is Break the Silence Persona cards. The postcard set. Yeah, just very messy group order. Very messy. Wait, I'm like sitting really awkwardly against the back of the camera. Let me move it. There we go. Can you see? Yeah. Oh, wait, I forgot to turn it back over. Wow, messy unboxing, I'm sorry. Jin. Why can't I do this? J Hope, that is gorgeous. <laughs> Hey, legs for days. And Jika, hey, wow. The camera could not handle. You can do it, camera. Yeah, there we go. And Jika, hey. So all the backs are the same. They don't like say anything important. But yeah, really nice postcard set. Um, I think that's all for today. Now that you've heard my rambling and my big story <laughs> but yeah that's the mail for today bye i think that this might be the final part of this haul i feel like i have a lot of clips thank you for being so patient here's our junk cookie did this take a while <laughs> i can't remember oh they're so cute
Yeah, that little butterfly, little Jin. Mang. Shooky, another little butterfly. JK, hey. And JK, hey. That one's really nice. I like that one. Oh, blue tea. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Uh, yes. <laughs> I have another one of these. Um, because... I forgot that I ordered this one in a group order like ages ago and this is the one that she got in her pack so now I have another one. <laughs> I think I know what this one is. I'm hoping that it's one. Oh okay it's not what I thought. <laughs> okay thank you that's so nice. I was so, so happy when she posted these up because um, this has been in my wish list for a while and every time I've seen it, it's been kind of like overpriced, but I have a spot put out for it. So this is Jungkook's um, pop-up shop, Persona pop-up shop bingo card. So there's a freebie, so cute. I think I already have this freebie. And like kept it on oh, BTS. That's so nice. Um, but yeah, when she posted this up, I was like, yes, yes. I think it's like same taste sales. I don't know that I'm saying that right. Same taste sales. Um, I've purchased this off of her a couple of times. I think that I'm actually expecting some um, one cards from her. So. And they were posted before this, so that makes me a bit worried now. <laughs> but there's the card. Ah, oh, it's so nice. House of BTS. There we go. Actually, maybe I already received the cards off of her. I think I did. It's probably in a clip before this. Um, so, scrap whatever I just said. Okay, so, hello. Oh, wait. No. This is from her as well. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Don't scrap what I just said. So there's her Instagram right there. Thank you for your purchase. Hope these will arrive safely to you. Stay safe. Yes. Okay. Tape on top loaders. I hate it. I hate it so much. <laughs> okay. Now here we go. Number five out of eight. Is that what it says? Six. Number six out of eight. These are just stunning cards. Number one out of eight, and then a unit. Number six out of eight. Yes. Oh, they're just beautiful cards, aren't they? Awesome. I think that's it for this mail haul video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please, you know, chuck us a sub if you would like to see more, and I'll see you in the next video. It should be a binder update. I feel like I'm long overdue for a binder update. So that should be, that should be coming up. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Well, see you later. Bye.